to One Piece Nation here today with my review of Boruto episode 11. Now, as to why I haven't been doing these, if you know, if you can follow me up on Twitter, I've been in the, like, the very end of school with like finals and stuff. And honestly, if I wasn't studying or working on like a paper, I kind of just wanted to relax. So yeah, that's why I haven't been doing these. So let's do my review of Boruto Episode 7 entitled The Shadow of the Mastermind. Alright, okay, let's get into it. So I really enjoyed this episode. I was pissed off though. And for those of you that don't know, I'm a hardcore Sakura fan. I probably like Sakura more than I like Sasuke. And I love Sasuke. Alright, like... Like, okay, the main three characters in Naruto are of my favorite characters in all of manga. Alright, I like them more than I like most of the Star Hat. But, like, after, like, for me, Naruto was the first real anime I watched. And yes, I saw Dragon Ball, but Naruto is my Dragon Ball, too. I can still be critical of it. I'm not nostalgia blind for it, but when it comes to those three characters, I really like all of them. I really like Sakura. I really like Sasuke and I really like Naruto, but a Sakura I've always just had, like, I just really like her, alright? Like, I like Sakura, probably, without a doubt, my favorite female character in Naruto. See it? That's it, man. Been a while since I did this. No, but, uh, Sakura, without a doubt, my favorite female character. I love Sakura. So when I saw her in that preview, I was like, yeah! Sakura, yeah! Like, yeah! I had, I, I was hoping for maybe something with Sakura. I mean, there's a lot of potential there. Like, if Sakura, while not nearly as strong as Naruto, is probably the closest person in the village, more Kakai, if it doesn't, to his level, that hasn't held the title of Hokage. Let's be honest here. See, besides for maybe Lee using, the, using like some of the gate, which obviously isn't a real fair plot, but you could very much do something interesting where Boruto like tried to kick her ass and learn and see pretty much it plain thing you're nowhere near your father's level. Like you're nowhere near my level. Take what I am, multiply time to a million and you get your father. Like you could easily do a really cool character arc. Let me get by Thocker being like, oh I'm Lee Quinker in the arc. Like I'm not even, I, and me and Naruto were to fight here where he could probably defeat me like this. I'm gonna fuck up his hand if he really wanted to. And you won't even be able to land a hit on me. You could do something great with that. I felt like that was incredibly wasted potential. Because honestly, I feel like Sasuke, I feel like Sasuke is too high of a bar to start with. Honestly, like later on we know we get to fight Sasuke and I, I feel like Sasuke is too high. He's Naruto equal. Like, it needs, I think it would be much more realistic if he started with the goal of, I want to bring down Sakura. And he was like, okay, now I want to bring down Sasuke. And then he went on to Naruto. Like, he brought down each the main character. That would be a really awesome way to handle it. I don't think they're going to do that. Okay, moving on to the actual episode. Um, more schoolyard crap. I'm not going to get into it. We skipped what happened to the class rep, which was kind of depressing. But I mean, I not that they needed to show it. Like, this is the advantage Boruto had. We as an audience know how great Naruto is. So we don't, like, in the original Naruto, if we hadn't seen Haruzen save this girl, I would be pissed off. But because it's Naruto, because we, because I could imagine, like, a thousand ways he could do this. Like, he could save her, I don't need to see it. Like, I can easily accept. Naruto off screen saving an academy student girl. Like an academy girl. Academy level girl. I, I can easily, like, I can in that. I, no problem with that. No, fine. There was a thing where she called her parents and she looked really depressed. And I noticed, I don't think she meant to parents at all. Maybe she'd be orphan. Like, I guess Naruto can't tell a story without an orphan. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that every Naruto generation apparently needs an orphan. Like, really, like, every generation in this theory needs a damned orphan. But then again, there'd be orphanage in Kota the Kabuto runs now, and Sakura's clinic. So you would think Sakura or Kabuto would have been there visiting her. Because Sakura, Sakura was definitely a girl in the academy with Boruto the Maki. 
I think Stock would be all over that, especially. Like, he would just. If she wouldn't want to see, she wouldn't want to risk another Naruto or another Sasuke. The whole reason she started the clinic was to make sure nothing like this happened. And Kabuto, I'm like, why well, Kabuto not there? She did orphan. And Kabuto too busy with, with the, I, was gonna, I would say too busy with Shin, but he's like, Shin doesn't exist yet. Well, he exists, but that's beside the point. So it can't be Shin. So again, yeah, that's the thing. Um, I mean, but already animation was fine. I really did like Naruto's thing because you know, for all Naruto's stupidity, he kept out of trouble until he became a Genie. Like he was not stupid. He didn't get involved in anything that high-ranking ninja were involved in. Before Naruto became a ninja, he looked up to all with Shinobi. But he was like, you're a ninja, you do your job, I'm going to sit here and be a terrified little academy student. Like, he knew his place. And I really liked him reminding Moto, kid, you're not even a Genie. Like, you're not ready for this, kid. Like, yes, you've had a couple of battles, yes, you can fight. You had not ever fought an actual, like, rogue ninja or an evil shinobi. An evil shinobi is a messed up thing and Naruto did not want his son to be exposed to that yet. Like he wants to he he's putting it off until he becomes a Genie and I like that. Um Boruto in this episode once again very likable of I'm like where the hell was Tirana? Like no when all the class sort of got together. Where was the Tirana? Did, did Tirana just not care? Maybe we're getting close to Gaiden and Tirana starting to go through her daddy issue phase. And then if she was just too angry, or maybe she was like, well, I don't know what a ninja is, so why would I want to help you, ninja? Or something like that. I am honest to God, not really sure if I'm being completely honest with you. But yeah, I can't think of much else I want to say on this episode. We gotta look at, uh, you mentioned the, the main villain, like the, the evil, the ghost. Like the animal spirit thing, you mentioned somebody called New, I believe. I don't, they want to bring back Ye New. Now, uh, honestly, I don't know how I feel about them using pre established lore. Alright, if they're going to do stuff for Boruto, I think it needs to be new problems. I think all the previous problems made by the previous generation have been handled. That era needs to be put on the back burner. Madara, Hashirama, if you want to keep glimpses of that, like the Hashirama cell, Madara technique, mentions of them, fine. But use new things, which I like. I like how they're using new creatures. But just don't connect them to the tail beast. Don't mess the word. If you're going to connect the guy with the tail beast, then I don't want that. I want Boruto to exist as a separate entity, which is doing very well. I would, I mean, you could honestly, in my opinion, start a book, but this, start Boruto without seeing any of Naruto. You really could. Because Naruto and the other previous characters, they're there and things are mentioned, but things were always mentioned like that in part one. Like, Haruzi would be like Kakashi. Like, I think Obito would mention once or twice indirectly in part one. Before he would ask the show. I mean, like, it can be done. So I really like that, um, music was on point. I think we're getting a new ending soon. I believe we're getting a new ending, which will be hype. Yeah, and I know I may start covering the spoilers. I'm not sure. I, oh, I do know the spoilers. I don't know if I want to cover them. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I had to say. I really enjoyed the episode. I thought like it was good. Honestly, it's very bland. There isn't much to say. I, if you see the episode, you know what happens. Um, the fighting with the male delivery guy, with the male Tori, whatever his name is, no, it just, like, the boss male guy, no, it just, we're not supposed to be Conan, we're not supposed to be Conan paper just to, like, I don't understand, like, I, I, I can't take somebody with a paper just to, seriously, we might have like a Wabe around. I'm sorry, I can't. And I can't say, it, it's very hard for me to take these people seriously at this point. Especially when we know now that Naruto is fully aware of Boruto's looking into it. Naruto, with his sensory ability, could be there. 
I was sure he had part of his head in always focused on monitoring what Boruto was doing. So he can swoop in. I mean, we see in the Boruto movie. No matter what Naruto does, Boruto is his precious child. Very similar to Minato and Kushina. He is like, when, when it comes to Boruto's life, that is just as important as the rest of the villain to him. So I can definitely see him monitoring Boruto with Dave mode or something. But yeah, that's about it. There wasn't much to talk about here. Um, yeah, so we saw a guy in like a mask that was manipulating the ghost. We know that's happening. And there was also this weird thing with Mishki where he let the man in the mask get away. So now the question is, who is under the mask? What's the freaking get? Well, he's so, uh, I'm just waiting for somebody to say the guy in the mask. Is Sasuke from the, is it evil Serata or evil, or evil Boruto from the future? Is it evil Boruto from the future? I, I mean, is it evil Boruto from the future? I, that is like, his, the hate inside of him was sealed by Serata into the past or some shit. I don't know. I don't have any good ideas. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. And subscribe for more videos. And I also may... We'll probably be giving a One Piece catch up today or tomorrow. Not your wish. I'm probably gonna go game for a bit and then I'll do that. Yeah. Peace out. Have a good day.